uh, hey guys welcome to my channel uh, this is the second part of unit 1 wherein we will be learning about parametric model or parametric model so in uh, parametric model uh, we can say that the main way to combat the curse of dimensionality is to make some assumptions about the nature of the data distribution it may be like supervised or unsupervised problem but the main way to combat is to make some assumptions. So in case of parametric model, we have fixed number of parameters. Parametric model has fixed number of parameters. Uh, this model is faster to use, but the only constraint is we have to make strong assumptions. So strong assumptions are needed to be made. These assumptions are often known as inductive bias, which are uh, embodied in the form of parametric model. Uh, this model is the statistic model with fixed number of parameters. We can say it is, okay, we have wrote here inductive bias. And one of the type of parametric model is linear regression. This is one of the most widely used models. Its linear response can be written as y is equal to wtx plus epsilon, where wt is the weight vector, or x is the input vector, and this is error. Error, what is error in this case? In this case, the error is the difference between our linear predictions and true response. Suppose we have some distribution of this way and this is what we have predicted and this is our true response and this is what we have predicted. So the difference between them is called as error. So that is the difference between our linear predictions and true response. Now, we often assume the error as Gaussian or normal distribution that is given by this formula. Here, this is the mean, this thing, and this is the variance. Now, when we plot the mean, we get a bell-shaped curve as we have assumed that it is a Gaussian distribution. This, uh, this was for linear regression and this is for Gaussian and when we combine both of them, what we get is this. So, what this thing shows is the conditional probability density now suppose we consider a simplest case wherein we can write as mu is linear function of x so we can write this is wt of x okay and uh, the noise, this is the noise, okay guys. So noise, we can consider this as fixed. So this becomes is okay. So in this case, our probability density can be written as, which are the parameters for the model. Suppose, we have a 1D input and the equation can be written as that is wherein this W0 is called as bias and this is the slope 